In today's vlog, my friends, we're going live over to the island of Tenerife to speak to Andrew Knight from Sanesty Car Hire. Now, we spoke to Andrew about three weeks ago, but what I want to know is what's changed with the lockdown since we spoke to him last? Are the restaurants opened yet? Are the beaches open yet? When are we going to be able to go over? I've got a whole list of questions that I'm going to be asking him. But before we do that, remember, like, subscribe, click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Now, without further ado, Let's go. Hello, Andrew. How are you? Good, thanks to you. Yes, not too bad, thank you. Looking well. I have just got a question to ask. Your hair's not grown since the last time that we did this video. Yeah, I've uh, been managed to, my girlfriend's been cutting it for me. Ah, uh, just... Yeah, I already had the uh, the shaver, so... Excellent. A few YouTube tutorials and uh, there you go. Looking sharp there, looking sharp there, Andrew. <laughs> it gets too hot otherwise. It, but yeah, well, it will do, yeah. I need to, uh, I don't look anything like I do on my shirts at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I've got some questions to ask you. Now, the first one is, we spoke to you about two, three weeks ago. Um, has anything changed with the lockdown since two or three weeks ago when I spoke to you last? Yes, yeah, so last week um, they've announced that we can now go out for some exercise every day. So you can either go for a walk in your... Well, they, they put it in, in age brackets, so different age groups can go out at different times. So for me... I can go out from 7 till 10 in the morning or I can go out from 8 till 11 in the evening. And I can either go out for a walk with someone for an hour within a kilometre radius or I can go out on my own and exercise for as long as I want within those three hours as long as I stay within um, my municipal. So as long as I stay in Arona, then I can go as far as I want for exercise. Excellent. So that's what they did. When when did they actually put them uh, rules into uh, force? So that was going to be from Saturday onwards. Excellent. Are they doing that, this in stages then? So the, the certain stages of winding down the lockdown and coming out of the lockdown. Yeah. So we're not. This is still stage zero. We're not even in stage one yet. Um, a couple of the islands have gone into stage one, like El Hierro, Gomera the ones that haven't got any cases they're now allowed to do a little bit of driving again have people other people in the car and um, they've started to open up a few of the bars and restaurants for takeaways things like that so a few of the restaurants and bars are starting to open then but only for takeaways only for takeaway i think they can have reduced capacity for outdoor seating on terraces Right, that's pretty good then. So people oh. can go. So you could go for a beer if but they're keeping the distance outside, that kind of thing. Yeah, um, that's not happened here. Yes, we're hoping that's going to happen from the eleventh. Um, but it depends how, if any of the cases go up with this exercise, they might scrap that and delay it. Where's that happening at the moment then? A um, couple of the smaller islands, so El Hierro, Gomera and one of the others, the ones that haven't had any cases, really. They're basically clear. Right, so they're just letting them out for a certain amount of time, but still reduced capacity, even though they've got no cases of coronavirus there, then. Yeah, yeah. OK. And question number two, are there any talks yet, and you, I mean, I, I'm feeling for you here, are there any talks of the businesses or the schools reopening in the near future? Not at the moment. Schools, they've not even mentioned. I think they've already written the schools off until next September. The schools here already get about 12 weeks off in the summer anyway. Um, they get a really long amount of time off in the summer, so I can't see the schools going back. Um, but I know they are, they're pretty strict with the, my staff member, Lisa, she's got kids and they're, they're pretty on it with the, the homeschooling, setting them tasks, things like that. But I can't see them going back. And businesses? Businesses, no news yet, other than those bars and restaurants will be allowed to do takeaways. 
and the reduced capacity, but that's when we get into stage one. How how are you actually surviving? Because, I mean, over here, uh, you know, people are on furlough pay. Is it the same issue over there? Is it, is it the same what the, uh, thing over that they're doing over there? The staff are on that, but if you own a business and employ staff, you don't get that. So I'm sort of just plugging away as best I can, um, but the staff get furlough, yeah. But nobody who's self-employed or own their own business gets any furlough pay at all? Self-employed, you can, but if you're self-employed and employ staff, you can't, if that makes sense. It, does, well, it, it makes sense, but it doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Does, does the that government helps. not understand that people like yourselves need to survive? Exactly. I don't. I don't understand it. So, do you still have to pay your staff, or do the government pay them? No, the, the government are paying the staff, so they're furloughed. So, I haven't got that cost. But you know, you've still got garage rent to pay, car insurance to pay, road tax to pay, um, MOTs to do when it all opens up again. So, yeah, it's going to be tough. Um, I'm always very careful with money, so I've got save save some up. But I know there's a lot of businesses that are going to really struggle with all that. Well, hopefully when everything gets back to norm, uh, well, all my viewers anyway, let's get over to Sanus to uh, car rental and give you some support. Yeah, it'd be much appreciated. Um, we'll be doing some special offers and things like that. So Brilliant. So things moving again. I have still got a few clients that have been loyal and stuck it out through the uh, lockdown. But yeah. It's going to be strange. It's going to be strange for a good year or so. Everyone's going to struggle, I think. That's crazy. Well, what we'll do is when um, when we get things back to normal, we'll put something on my channel and we'll give it like a discount for my viewers and we'll try and get things moving a little bit for you. So, cause, yeah, perfect. Much I think, appreciated. I have to say, well, all my viewers are all very, very supportive of the island of Tenerife and the businesses over there. The, the, yeah. the comments in the comment section they're all asking how people are doing and they you know they feel we, we all feel for you really it's crazy yeah Absolute madness question number three are you over the pandemic yet and has the death rate fallen so that yeah the death rate's really fallen i know we had a, a couple the other day but no i don't the, mean over the pandemic yeah. over the peak of the pandemic sorry yeah yeah we've passed the peak i think we passed the peak a week or so ago um there's been barely any deaths since then, which is good. So, yeah, working. We, we've passed the curve, yeah, but it's just working out how to open it up again. We're one of the biggest islands and we had the biggest number of cases and the biggest number of deaths, so... It's absolutely crazy. I know over there, I mean, over here, it's nuts. I did a, a vlog yesterday uh, about KFC and I don't know if you probably saw it. And there was a line of traffic. It was just mad. Did you see it? Probably not. Have you had a chance to see it yet? I chance to see that one, yes. I've been, I'm on a funny sleeping schedule, so I don't even know. <laughs> Haven't we all? Not being off YouTube, but uh, my sleeping pattern's a bit messed up. It's crazy. <laughs> Literally, there was just a line of... In fact, the local paper here, the Nottingham Post, has uh, done a story on it. They've put me in it. Uh, YouTube uh, films uh, local KFC and it was a line a mile long it was crazy that had never happened in Tenerife would it? No no it's uh, and then I've heard from other people back in the UK they they started opening up the um, the rubbish tips again yeah. well they had it was in Manchester because it was just like bedlam masses of people at the rubbish dumps so it's not controlled enough I don't think it's crazy, absolutely crazy. I'm going to ask you question number four, which is probably the one that my uh, viewers, we're all asking this question. We're all asking this question. <laughs> Basically, is there any talks of when us Brits will be allowed back over to Tenerife for our jollies? Because we're desperate to get back on the island. We're desperate. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> no. But it's simply, no, not really. Um, it's all going to depend on how quick we get through these different phases. So I think if we can get into phase one as soon as we can, then on into phase two, then the sooner that will happen. So I think phase two does involve some of the hotels opening up again at a reduced capacity. Yeah. 
it's really it's just going to depend on the development of these apps. Are the apps going to be used when people arrive? It's there's too much up in the air with it at the moment to to even say. It's all speculation. However, yeah. there has been a lot of talk in the press about there being uh, the Spanish people of of the you know the islands will be let in first. So, you know, Gran Canaria can go for a holiday in Tenerife and vice versa. That's going to be stage the first stage of opening things up. But yeah. That, but then also they're going to let Spain in and you know some of Europe like the Germans and the French and but the Brits will be the last apparently because we're you know, well, we don't adhere to the lockdown rules, apparently, so... <laughs> well, we don't know if that's confirmed yet or not. Um, we get a lot of Italians in Tenerife and on the Canaries as well, and they've had it just as bad as the UK, so are they going to stop the Italians as well? It's... I, I, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> do you, do you, let, let me just ask you this, and I know it's, it, 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 it's all speculative, but... Do you see, from your point of view, from your your view, do you see us as Brits being able to come back over to holiday on the island of Tenerife? If you had to take a wild guess, what month would you think it would be? And I know it's not fact, so I'm just telling my viewers, it's not fact. I'm just saying a wild guess from somebody who's on the island, if you get the feeling of it. Well, um, the one talked about the most is September. And I think that's probably the most logical. I just can't see. I think July and August is coming up too fast for the hotels and things to open. Um, I know they've said when, when the hotels do start to reopen at that reduced capacity, that the communal areas are going to be closed anyway. So like your swimming pools and things won't be open. So I just... I think Sorry? September earliest, I think. I mean, so, you're not going to want someone to stay in a hotel and not be able to go by the pool, are you? So in September, would they have the pools open in September then? Or still closed? That's crazy. Possibly. I don't know. It's just going to depend on how the st- how, how well the stages go. <sighs> this is crazy. I mean, a lot of I have had a few people say on, on my uh, channel in the comments that they probably possibly won't go over until next year because there's still going to be social distancing and there's going to be a lot of rules in in place until we get a vaccine that is anyway yeah i think it's going to be like that all over the world for the next until as you said until we get a vaccine it's going to be like that everywhere everywhere is going to change whether you're coming here florida theme parks wherever camping everything's going to be the same everyone's going to have those rules unless that we get this vaccine sorted hey what i could say to my viewers is if you do go over to tenerife don't use the public transport. Get a car from Sanesty Car Hire. <laughs> <laughs> Cheesy oh, yeah, advertisement think, there, but hey, there we go. Support the I car. I think it'll probably be, probably be safer if social distancing and stuff's going on because um, we're going to be sanitising the cars really quite well each time. Are you going to sanitise them all? To, to sanitise them. Uh, and I know on the, on the public transport at the moment, it's mandatory to wear masks and have hand sanitizer and possibly gloves and things like that, so... If it was me, personally, I'd rather hire a car and be with my own family rather than mixing with people going to work and all that. Hey, a little bit of marketing for you. He could sanestitize them. <laughs> there you go. There's the next video sorted. <laughs> I might do one of those nice time lapses, sanitizing the cars, deep cleaning them. Uh, that's it. Now then, number five, are the people of Tenerife still adhering to the lockdown? Because over there in the UK, I can tell you, I've seen on the road, just because I've been up to my mum's to look after her, it is mental out there. It's, it's crazy. The roads are as busy as they were before now. Um, there's people putting signage up. I just went past to Greg's and there's a couple of guys putting signage up and they're literally right next to each other. There's no two meters, There was no two metres there. Um, there's builders back on building sites. It is, it's crazy, absolutely crazy. Yeah, uh, well, I've seen all that on the news. It's not so good in England, but here, yeah, they're still still adhering to it. And if you don't, they're still on it with the fines. Um, I think I was reading the other day. There's, I think they gave out 150 fines in the first two days in Gran Canaria in relation to this going out for exercise, and that the minimum. 
uh, amount on those fines was six hundred euros. Six. That's a minimum of six hundred. Minimum euros. of six hundred. Yeah, and they gave out one hundred and fifty. <laughs> Is... For you know, being out at the wrong time or being out too long, being out too far from your home. So yeah, they're still on it. That's... Whereas in England, even if they asked you how far, you know, if you'd broken one of the rules, if they were to even ask you, what would you get? A Thirty quid fine. Well, last night down at uh, KFC, massive line of traffic. The police were going, "Move on, you need to move on." None of them moved on. Obviously, the chicken was more important. So yeah, you know. <laughs> I know KFC's finger licking good, but if it is, I hope they sanitise their hands before they lick <laughs> their fingers. That's all I can say. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. I mean, there's, there's a few more doing starting to do takeaway here now, but I think there's been a few issues with if they do open up and start to do takeaway, I think they have to take on some of the staff. Um, they can't keep them on furlough. I'm not sure, so I think that's why a lot of them have just stayed closed. But I think there's a couple more opened in Lost Chris this week to do takeaway and deliveries. Blimey, is your Indian restaurants and your Indian takeaway still open? Yeah, they're still going, still really busy. I had one of them last week, he said he was mad, mad busy. Did you try it again because you said it was a bit... Yeah, no, all good, all, all good. good. Excellent. Yeah, Brilliant. all good. Lovely. Um, it was lovely. I'm, I'm going back. As soon as I get there, I am going back. Yeah, and I'm gonna. Have I'm looking forward to. I'm, I'm craving Chinese. There's no Chinese open at the moment. There is. There's. I tell you what. I'm going to ask my viewers this because I'm. It's my favourite Chinese. Indian restaurants are open, and as you've said, there is no Chinese restaurants open whatsoever. No Chinese takeaways open. I can't find any. Why? No comments down below. I think. Well, possibly it's possibly quite cultural as well i know they do stick to the rules very well the chinese so yeah and they do they, they take things very seriously so whether they i'd imagine that's probably why that's crazy okay so we have another question for you when do you think your business sanity car hire will be back on the road and up and running again and i know you probably would like it to be on the road as soon as possible but i mean when do you think yeah, but I am still allowed to rent cars as long as it's for the the reasons specified by the government. So if someone needs one to go and help the elderly or to go to a hospital, things like that, then I can give them out. Um, but obviously no one's really doing that. It's, it's all tourism. So until the tourists come back, then that's when we'll start getting back to normal, I think. Like the office is closed. If someone calls me and really needs one, I can give them one. They sign an agreement to say it's it's for the the reasons specified. They're not going to you know just go for a drive down to the beach. Um, but yeah, until the, the flights start coming back with the short term rentals, then we'll see. You say when the flights come back. I, I, I heard, and I've put it on one of my other vlogs. There was a Wizz Air flight came in from Luton. Did you hear anything about that? Yeah, one of my clients actually flew back on it um, on Saturday, was it? He flew back on it. It was it was a weird one because um, it landed and then he received a text saying that the flight was cancelled and it was announced by the British consulate that it was cancelled and that Wizz Air weren't flying till June and it was all off. So I was frantically ringing him, telling him, you know, don't go to the airport, the flight's cancelled. And he eventually got back and rang me, he said they cancelled it, and then in half, within half an hour, I texted him again saying, disregard the last message, it's back on again, we're flying. <laughs> so he'd cancelled his taxi and was like, you know, starting to unpack, and then had to frantically pack again and get a taxi back up. Does he, he lives there, I presume, so... But he, well, he's a bit of a swallow. He comes out for about six months of the year. So he, he was ready to get back. Um, I was going to say, on. because people who are going to be on flights like that, they're not, if, nobody's going to be going on holiday there because there's no hotels or anything open. And if you do go there, I presume it's people that has maybe got apartments there and they're just flying back for six months. Yeah, well, he, he said um, that there was a couple on the, on the flight that arrived 
and they couldn't prove that they lived here or, or had connections and they just turned them straight back around and put them straight back on the plane. Really? And they were on their flight straight back, yeah. Oh, so, if, so unless and you've got no, residence there. No, he said that the airport was all boarded up, all the windows were boarded up, all closed up. Um, they had one vending machine they could buy drinks from. And then when they were boarding the plane, there was a lot of questions. Why are you going to England? Um, they, they were speaking to one guy for a while because he didn't have a British passport. They didn't understand why he was trying to go. They were coming out of Tenerife? Yeah, they were trying to get on the flight from Tenerife to Luton. They let him on in the end, but because he didn't have a British passport, they were, they questioned him for a long time. Blimey. So it's not there. as simple as in you go, yeah, boarding, passing on. They, they're questioning you, trying to find out why you're going. I know yeah. a lot of my viewers have gone, got the hopes with with there, but obviously, if you if sounds like if you've not got a residence there, or you're you know a half resident, you are not coming back in. Yeah, they're, they're not they're not soft, um, and then he he said the flight was was quite well organised. I think there was a row between each each people. Um, they didn't do the card service or anything. They just said if you want a drink, just press the bell and go to the back of the plane. And they were doing, I think they'd set all the drinks at a set price. So I think it was £2, whatever drink you wanted, to keep it simple. Yeah. Uh, but there was no trolley service or anything like that. Blimey, crikey. That's interesting. In fact, that's the most info I've had on that so far, so that's good. Yeah, well, I didn't think he'd gone, and then he rang me and said, I've got your emails. I did manage to fly home in the end. He was about two and a half hours delayed. He didn't land until about five in the morning. Oh, blimey. <laughs> Crikey, there you go, you've heard it here first. Right, and th another question I've got for you. Are there any talks of the beaches open again? Now, I know you sent me some photographs uh, last night of uh, the beaches and stuff on your walk that you're allowed out. He was allowed out on his hour, is it? It's an hour if you're walking. It's a maximum of the three hours if you're exercising alone. So if you're riding a bike or jogging and things like that. It's that strict. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they don't, they don't mess around. And I know when I was out last night in my time zone, um, there was a, a couple, there was an older couple walking in front of us, and I know one of the one of the officers sort of went up to them and started pointing at his watch, indicating you know they they were out of their time zone, and to start getting back. That's crazy. It's absolutely, yeah. absolutely crazy. Um. <clears throat> Oh, I've, I've already asked you this one. I said there's talks that those uh, Brits will be the last allowed back on the island, but uh, you think, well, maybe... I'm not too sure, but I know Jet 2 were having meetings with the government last week as well uh, in terms of trying to arrange a plan to get the tourists back, what the the protocols were going to be and things like that. So I can't see. I think that's just British press, I imagine. Yeah, I think it's in the Sun newspaper. We'll say nothing about the Sun newspaper. But can you walk on the beaches? Are you allowed to walk on the beach? Or? No, they're still all cordoned off. So, no, no. no I can't see them opening. I can see the beaches opening when the pools and things open. Yeah, that's a shame really, isn't it? It's. Uh, I saw a video actually that was done by, I think, the government of all the beaches and uh, I, I put a link to it on my channel. <clears throat> and all the beaches were closed. It looked a really... It, it was sad. Yeah. It, it it looks quite sad. I mean, the wildlife's doing very well from it, so I suppose that's one benefit of looking at it. Yeah. Uh, it's just birds and things everywhere. I don't know whether you're noticing it more because people aren't around or... But, yeah, it just seems to be good for the wildlife. And the beaches do look nice empty. The sand's nice and flat and <laughs> natural. <laughs> like they do on all the pictures when they're selling you the holiday you know the beach is that empty there'll be plenty of people out there getting photographs ready for the <laughs> yeah, stock yeah. images <laughs> I've got a final one for you when do you think everything will be back to normal I kind of asked you this one but when do you think everything will be back to normal I know people I don't mean people will be allowed over just normality on the island um, what is normal now I don't know, I don't know things are going to probably change for a long time I'd say at least a year till things are back to normal, unless we get a vaccine sorted. Yeah. But when you get the vaccine, you've got to produce it, make it, distribute it, get everyone to take it. 
Will you take the vaccine? A lot of people are saying, that oh, I'm not being vaccinated. Will you take the vaccine? Yeah, I'd take it. <clears throat> you would? I think you'd, well, I won't go too controversial, but obviously there's a lot of anti-vaxxers out there, isn't there, but... Yeah, it's, there's a lot. Of, uh, there's, I, I, I won't say it on this channel, but there's a lot of um, stories and conspiracy theories going around on. Yeah, on the but I think if you don't, then you probably, you might not be able to fly or enter a country. So, if you're fine with not really going anywhere, then don't take it. I've got nothing to hide. Vaccinate me <laughs> if you want to bother me. <laughs> so, <laughs> how are you coping with? Uh, Drinks and alcohol, obviously I like a drink. I mean, how are you, you know, there's no bars, are you just getting, uh, you're not that bothered about drinking though, really, are you? I'm not a big drinker. Anyone who knows me will, will agree I'm not a big drinker at all. I know I think the last beer though. I had, pretty sure the last beer I had was, might have even been with you in Casey's. What is going on? This guy doesn't drink. <laughs> I, I, how on earth, how on earth am I mates with you? I can't believe this. He doesn't drink. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm not really bothered about that. No. But I know you can buy in the supermarkets and everything. Have you and all been... The... Have you been... Um, have you had your temperature taken when you've been in the supermarket? Um, I did when I went to Hyperdino. I think they're the only ones that are doing it at the moment. Um, but the other shop up by where I live doesn't do that. They just make you put the gloves on and, you know, make sure you do the distancing. The shops are that quiet compared to England. It's like royalty, our supermarkets. You walk in, they hand you your gloves, you put the supermarket to yourself. There's no lines outside. Is there no queues outside? No, no. <laughs> You're lucky if you get like another two people in the supermarket with you. That's crazy. I mean, you go to Aldi here or... Or, or Waitrose if you're a millionaire <laughs> and uh, there's there's loads probably not many people outside Waitrose but Aldi I went the other day massive line massive line it was crazy yeah. saw it on the video you were uh, you didn't look too best pleased when you pulled up no I had to do that and then drop food off to my family and, and leave it was uh, <clears throat> you know it's crazy that's when it annoyed it me a little video you know as you were choking up there I know, you know, I'm only human. <laughs> I'm only human. <laughs> Until you have a few Alambras, then you're not human. <laughs> if I'd have had a few Alambras, I'd have been fine, but I would, wouldn't have been driving, obviously. Got to put that in there as well. But uh, what's the weather been like over there? The nice? Yeah, we're hitting summer now. It's, it's starting to really notice the difference. Really hot at the last week or so has been scorching. Me, me, me neck's a bit on fire here at the moment. <laughs> I hope you got your uh, sunscreen on. Yeah, I put a bit on before I came out. Has there been any talk of, of local restaurants or bars closing and shutting the doors? Because if they're not getting an income, it's going to be very difficult for them. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe some have. It, it, it's not going to be in the news or anything. It would all be behind closed doors. So I'm not sure, but they've got the option of a um, interest-free loan from the government, so whether a few are taking that and then... But I know, like, the Indian there, he's, he's done, from what I've seen and heard, quite well from it all. He's yeah. always busy with the deliveries, so a few of them have done quite well. It's just going to be a matter of supporting each other when we open up again. I mean, I'm desperate for a burger. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be out for a burger and a Chinese and things like that. You'll be well, out I think, for Starbucks. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that's number one. That's number one. <laughs> that's 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 gonna. I'm hoping that's gonna be in the takeaway bracket, so I can go and get one. <laughs> but uh, uh, I know we went I think the... just gonna have to support each other. I think whether they'll reduce the prices a bit so people can afford to eat out a bit more. Yeah. Well, I know as soon as we can get back over us. Brits and uh, Irish and wherever we're from. In fact, I've, I've got viewers from Canada and all over. All my viewers and subscribers, support this guy. Support this guy. And uh, like I say, don't take public transport. Get a car from this guy here. There we go. And, uh, yeah, well, support. When, every, when, when you come over, just support everyone. You know, spend a couple of euros in one bar. Go to a different one. Don't, don't go to the same restaurants and bars every time. Mix it up and try and help everyone out. Well said, actually. That's a good. That's good. Yeah, try and go to the different bars. I know people have favourites and things, but yeah. try and mix it up and 
do different things. Hopefully there'll be, I think there'll be some offers and discounts and things with people. So hopefully we can sort of spread it around and eventually it'll earn its way back up. If people come and get a car from you, um, will you throw in a free selfie? <laughs> a free selfie, what, as in... A selfie because you've been on the vlog, yeah. With them, you get yeah, yeah, if, yeah, yeah. Well, I had a few bookings from the from the, the first YouTube video we did. Yeah. I uh, had quite a few, actually, but unfortunately, then a couple of weeks later, it was everything was off, cancelled, locked down, so I didn't get to meet any of them. Oh, wow. But I'm sure when we do... Um, I'll at least get a selfie and send it for you anyway. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm going to let you get back indoors before you burn to a crisp. Yeah, I'm really busy. I've got loads to do, you know, and YouTube's a calling, so. <laughs> You'll be on uh, Sky News next. Look at them palm <laughs> trees. It's uh, absolutely amazing. Can you, um, it might break up this a little bit, so I do apologise, but can you flip the camera around and just show the uh, show the viewers, yeah? Give me one second. Just focus it in there. It's just a bit blurred there. There we go. It's coming in. That's it. That's it. There we go. Mount Ch uh, Chiafita, is it? Yeah, just in between the palm trees, you've got Chiafita. There's been quite a few people walking up there for the exercise each day. Yeah. Uh, no one on there at the moment because it's the, I think it's the over 60s or 70s bracket, so no one up there yet. And then to the left. Oh. Got the harbour down there with the Fred Olsen in at the moment. Oh, wow, just look at that. Ocean empty. Ocean's empty. No, yeah. no boats or ships on there. I can't see people one at the moment. Nothing at all. That's crazy. Birds singing, blue skies. All down there, all closed up. Nobody's allowed in any of the pools, even if they're personal ones. No, nothing. I don't know if you owned your own one in a villa, maybe, but any communal ones, definitely not. Wow. Oh, you're making me jealous now, and <laughs> I just want to be back. You, you want to come back here? I want to go back to England for a bit, for a change. I want a bit of <laughs> UK side and... <laughs> You had a bit of UK lockdown where you were like, yeah. <laughs> where you just do what you want. Yeah, pretty much. A bit, bit of a walk, a bit of countryside. Oh, blimey. Oh, well, I'll swap you. That's it. <laughs> anyway, flip the camera back and... Um... Oh, that's enough now. Stop it. Put that camera back on yourself. I can't, I can't take any more. I can't take any more. Andrew... I'll see you in an hour or so. You doing what? I'll see you in Casey's in an hour or so. Oh, man, I could do with that. And a Lamber in Casey's. That would be frosted amazing. Glass. A frosted glass. Oh, the the running down. Oh. Nice spot. Oh. oh, frosted glass. Oh, man. That's not right. That is not right. I actually, I, I actually saw um, the owner of Casey's the other day. I actually saw Paul. He stopped off and said hello. Oh. Uh, I think he, he watched the last vlog. Um, well, if Paul's, yeah. if Paul's watching from Cases, comment down below. Cases Bar is an awesome bar. It's brilliant. So, And if any of my viewers haven't been, you've got to go to Cases when you get back over to Tenerife. And ask for Paul, the, the owner. Yeah. He's top. He's a top man, top man. Super friendly, super friendly. He was saying the same. We're all just going to have to chip in and support each other when it's over. So Yeah. I'll be, well, Cases will be one of the first bars that I'm going in, I can tell you that. <laughs> It'll be a few hours before I get out of it. <laughs> it's crazy. T ten Alhambra's next. Uh, ten, ten, ten Alhambra's on, and I'm, I'm You'll on the You'll feel up even after all the lockdown. It'll hit you even harder. Oh, it's crazy. It's, oh, I can't wait to get back. You've made me, that's just made it worse. I wish, I wish I'd not asked him to show it me now. It's just made it worse. I can still see it in the reflection in your glasses. He's doing it again. Oh, this is just wrong. <laughs> no, no, no. Turn it around. Enough's enough. That's just that's just cruel. You're being cruel now. Anyway, Andrew Knight, Sanity Car Hire. Thank you very much. Make no sure problem. make sure you stay safe and enjoy your hour out. Make sure you don't go in a minute over. I shall not. I cannot afford to go a minute over. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, thank you very much. Um, thank you. And I shall be in touch. See you soon. All right. Bye-bye. 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 
Okay, well that was Andrew Knight from Sanity Car Hire over on the island of Tenerife. I hope that's given you a little update on what's going off on the island. It was quite interesting actually, I thought, on the uh, on the Wizz Air. Fancy being that couple that got to uh, the airport and then got turned around and had to come back to the UK. Boy, you'd be disappointed, wouldn't you? You can see it there as you're landing in and then you get there and you're straight back on the plane again. <sighs> terrible. Anyway, that's all from me today. Remember, like, subscribe, click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Follow me on Instagram, which is down there, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.